Where am I? I've never been more scared in my life. Hello, welcome back. You're probably wondering where we are. Let's take it back. I'm leaving my friends. I'm leaving Spokane. I'm going to Coeur d'Alene to see my dad. Wish me luck. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head south. Yeehaw! After meeting my father in a coffee shop and talking for a couple of hours, I headed south to what I thought was the perfect I Overlander spot. <laughs> games until I took one hairpin turn. And it was all quite literally downhill from there. I mean uphill. I will now illustrate for you what I went through because I wasn't filming because I thought I was going to die. Without further ado, I present to you The Road from the Underworld starring Dorit. With the help of Google Maps, our team was able to reconstruct the events of that day. Dorit Innocent, Tofu, not so, took evergreen and pine roads, which should have led her to Skyline Drive. But that fateful day, that day, she made a right-hand turn instead of a left-hand turn. Had innocent Dorit stayed on the path and gone left, she and Tofu would have arrived at their destination safe and sound. Instead, she made a right-hand turn leaving them on the worst road that has possibly ever existed. Unfortunate. The right-hand turn led her on a wild goose chase through the wilderness. Had she taken Skyline Drive, it would have been a happy Easter egg hunt through the forest. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. After bravely surviving the forest, Dorit and Tofu were spat out on double road. And by spat, I mean we burst through a bush, which surprised two hunters in their tent. The two men were so surprised that a big orange school bus had just come out of that ATV trail that they asked me no less than three times if that's where I had just come from. Our footage picks up while I'm having a panic attack while driving. Enjoy. The world's scariest freaking forest road. It was less than one lane. I couldn't turn around. I don't even know how I made it up it, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> and then I popped out at this clearing and there was these two guys there with a truck and I was like, please help. <laughs> and they're like, how in the Sam heck? Did you make it up that road in that? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't have an option. There was no turnaround and I couldn't back down. Um, so one of them is very kindly showing me how to leave. I have never been more scared in my life. Oh my God. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. <laughs> one of the very surprised hunters at the top of the hill, his name was Greg and Greg, was a really good guy. Greg offered to drive me to the right road because I was so shaken up. I, I couldn't put one and two together in that moment if you asked me. So thank you, Greg, if you're watching this, thank you. And this road is much better than the one I just went up. The one I just went up was probably classified as a rock scramble. Something you would take like a, a Jeep up or a four wheel drive. It was... I'm gonna cry. I made it to the campsite. Thank God it's worth it. Only one plant tipped over and the lid to my toilet fell off, but that was it. I get the whole place to myself. And this is my view. That was terrifying. I, um, no, it was so scary to do alone.
I had no option. I couldn't turn around. I had to go forward. It was horrifying. <laughs> well, Miss was very scared. She just came out of hiding from under the bed. I'll let you on your leash in a little bit. Let's just take a sec and we'll recuperate. It cannot be overstated how stressful that drive was. <laughs> then Mama took a much needed break. She cracked open a beer. She looked at her plants lovingly. She played with her cat, if you know what I mean. And she generally looked at the view. This place, despite how difficult it was to get to, was one of the most beautiful places I have ever camped. You had a 360 degree view from the top of this mountain. I got the most incredible, incredible sunset that I have had in a very, very long time. It should be illegal. That kind of stuff, illegal. Make it illegal. But like, don't because it's like really nice to just be able to drive my entire home to see these gorgeous views. Look at this. Look at this. Are you looking? I don't think you are. Look at it. Look at the moon. <sighs> named Greg, who helped me find the right road that I was supposed to be on yesterday, just came this morning to check on me. He said that he was elk hunting and he, I don't know, he didn't feel right about not checking on me, <laughs> which is possibly the nicest thing someone's done for me. I don't know. It's just crazy that like I'm in the middle of the woods right now and someone cares about my well-being <laughs> that's wild you know so thank you greg if you're watching this thank you i don't know it makes me really happy that people care anyways greg also informed me that it's going to snow here tonight so <laughs> i'm going to make my um my exit <laughs> from this beautiful beautiful camping spot now all right, I will see you in driving mode. is broken. I would like it to be known that the Hills Have Eyes is a vibe, okay? And Southern Washington has it going on, all right? Every one of those barns that I was passing, I was like, well, is this it? Is this where I die? Is this where I got eaten by a, a group of family cannibals? I mean, it would have been a great view anyway. Just a thought. 
After floundering in the wilderness for a bit, I was ready for a, I don't know, not boring, but a, a more roadside <laughs> uh, stop for the night. So I, I drove my happy little butt to a, a country road and slept in a big turnout and it was beautiful. Not such a terrible place to end up for the night. I'm just sleepy, but yes. We've made a tour camp spot for the night. I would like to take this opportunity to thank every single dang one of you for sticking with me, watching my ridiculous videos, and caring, even a little bit. Even if you're pretend caring. Thank you, I see you, good night. Until next time.